Welcome back to my channel. My name is Oche and I write patterns for my crochet designs and just started making videos here on YouTube. So in today's video, as you guys can see on my thumbnail, I'm going to show you this really adorable Coca-Cola coaster that I've made. This is the inspo picture from Pinterest. I saw this really cute plate. I think it's a handmade and clay ceramic plate. Uh, I saw that on Pinterest and I really want to recreate it into a crochet version as a coaster so I came up with this and I fully credit to the original designer of this ceramic plate and I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step tutorial for that this is beginner friendly and um, materials details are on the next slide but before we move on, I want to say that this is the day four of wearing my crochet piece in the intersection for my YouTube videos so today I am wearing my own crochet design which is also my first brainchild Cordelia vest. As you can see, special feature is the adorable ribbons around the neckline giving a coquette aesthetic. The stitch combo I use create a beautiful texture and the pattern is made to measure and tested by various sizes from extra small to extra large. So you don't need to worry about what size you want to do. I provide visual pictures and self-produced video instructions to help you understand it easily. And you'll also get a tester lookbook stick with the materials details that my tester used and other additional notes. Last but not least, I have a special discount for you. Use code Cordelia to claim the 10% off for this Cordelia vest pattern that I'm wearing right now. This video is the tutorial only for the head coaster. So if you want to make a circle shaped coaster, you can click right here. Click that if you want to make it. Or if you want to make a head coaster, you can stay here and continue watching it. If you enjoy my tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on my video so that I can make more videos in the future. So see you in my next videos. Bye! To make the coaster, you will need any size of yarn. I'm using a size 2, 100% cotton. In here, I want to show you the difference between milk cotton and 100% cotton. I use the same pattern and they both have the same amount of rows. The hood sack is also the same. So if you want a bigger coaster, use milk cotton with 3.5mm or 4mm hook. If you use a 100% cotton like this, you'll get a cute smaller one. Always remember that different types of yarn can give you different size of projects even though you crochet with the same size of hook and pattern. You'll need stitch markers to mark, 3.5mm hook or any appropriate hook size for the yarn of your choice, scissors and darning needle to weave in the ends. Last but not least, our main character, the ribbons. This is 1cm wide. You can also use this type of fancy lace pattern ribbon if it goes well with your coaster. I'm not going to be using here because it's bigger than the bottle line and I don't know how to use it to make it pretty. Maybe let me know in the comment how I can decorate with this. To start, we are going to make the magic ring and make 11 double crochet into our ring. So I am going to show you how to make a magic ring. To make the magic ring, hold the yarn like this. Like this and then wrap the yarn around your fingers. It's cross on the back and like this on, on the front. And then, oh my gosh. And then grab your hook and grab the back loop with your hook and twist it. And then I would like to drop, remove the yarn from my finger like this and then make one single crochet. I mean make one chain. Now you have got your magic rings and you're going to walk through these two loops on your hook like this as we are going to make 11 double crochet into the ring we are going to make another chain so chain two and one double crochet to make a double crochet yarn over insert your hook into the ring pull the yarn you have three loops on your hook and then yarn over pull through two loops 
and then yarn over pull through two loops this is how you can make a double crochet before we move on you need to put a stitch marker into our very first double crochet we just made like this yarn over inside your hook pull the yarn three loops on your hook yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through now you just need to repeat like that and i will see you when you got 11 double crochet in total And 11. You can check your number of stitches by counting like this. This is our first stitch. So count from here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so when you got 11 double crochet, pull this yarn to close the gap. Close the gap. And you need to make a slip stitch into the stitch where we put our stitch marker. Insert your hook into that stitch, pull the yarn, and through the loop. Okay, you got something like this. And then remove our stitch marker. Now I'm gonna show you that second round. Now this is just a um, simple double crochet increase. So you need to make two double crochet into each stitch. So to start our second round, make chain two and we are going to make two double crochet into the same stitch so yarn over insert your hook into the stitch pull the yarn you got three loops on your hook pull through two loops pull through two loops now you have got one double crochet so put a stitch marker right here so we have made only one double crochet so we are going to make another double crochet into the same stitch Double crochet increase means you have to make two double crochet into the same stitch. So make double crochet increase into each stitch around and I will see you right here. You need to count the stitches and if you have 22 double crochets in total, you are doing it right. Make a slip stitch into the stitch. We just put our stitch marker right here. And remove your stitch marker. So make two chain. And then make one double crochet into this stitch, our first stitch. And then put a stitch marker. And then we are going to repeat the pattern like one double crochet and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet again and two double crochet into this stitch. So it's like double crochet, double crochet increase, double crochet, and double crochet increase. So this is now double crochet increase. So I'm gonna make two double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet. So one double crochet and then double crochet increase. So you just need to repeat the pattern like that and I will meet you right here. On the last stitch, you need to end with two double crochet and then at the end, uh, you need to have 33 stitches in total. So we just finished our third round and make a slip stitch into the stitch where we put our stitch marker like usual. So, slip stitch. 
slip stitch and remove the stitch marker. Okay, we have got something like this. To start the round fall, you need to make one chain. And then start making one single crochet into the next stitch. And then put a stitch marker into that stitch. After that, we are going to make one half double crochet into the next stitch. Oh, I'm going to show you how to make a half double crochet. So it's like um, half of the double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn. And then you, when you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. In the next stitch, we are going to make two half double crochet. So two half double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next five stitches. So double crochet increase for five times. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. You can check by counting the stitches. This is where we start our double crochet increase and like one, two, three, four, five, and you're doing it right. And make one double crochet and repeat another one double crochet into the next stitch. And make one HDC half double crochet into the next stitch. And then one HDC again. Then make one single crochet in each stitch for the next three stitches. One half double crochet. And we have got something like this. And this is our middle point. And we're going to make this point right here like here this one so make three double crochet into the next stitch three double crochet in the same stitch one two and three and then we just need to repeat the pattern so one half double crochet single crochet for the next three stitches and then half double crochet for the next two stitches and then double crochet for the next two stitches two double crochet into the next five stitches this is our last stitch and we are going to make a single crochet And then make a slip stitch into the stitch where we put our stitch marker. Remove the stitch marker. We are now on our round 5 and I'm going to show you how to do this. And also this borderline. So cute and I can't wait to finish this one. So to start round 5, you're going to make a chain 1 and then make a single crochet into this stitch into very first stitch i'm gonna show you closer so this stitch one single crochet and put your stitch marker back and then one half double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next six stitches, like we just did. One, two, three, four. One double crochet into the next three stitches.
and then half double crochet into the next two stitches. A single crochet into the next seven stitches. One single crochet each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one half double crochet into the next two stitches. And you just get to your middle point. So we are going to make three double crochet into the next stitch. So one, two, and three. And then the pattern repeat. So one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So this is our last stitch and I'm going to make uh, one single crochet into that stitch and then slip stitch into our first stitch. So we just finished our round 5 and now we are ready to make our border line. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this border line right here. Okay. So we just made our slip stitch. To set our border, you need to make chain four, two, three, four, and then skip two stitches and make single crochet on into the next stitch. So you will go something like this. You can just repeat the pattern by making chain four, skip two and make a single crochet. This is so simple and your borders will get in shape after you have made two or three borders like this. You need to repeat the pattern until you get to this point and I'm gonna meet you there. Now I am on my last border. So one, two, three, four, skip two, and then here. Make single crochet, and then you need to make one slip stitch into this. And then make one single crochet, one chain, and you can now cut the yarn. Before you cut this yarn, you need to pull it tight and then you can just cut it off normally. Every time you weave in the end, make sure to weave in into the back side of our project. So this is back side, I, I'm gonna... And then check the front side if it is pretty or not. Okay, we can now continue weaving our ends normally.